30 Minutes of Umoria, show 22. Yo, yo, come on over. What time is it? It's Moria playing time. This, the 22nd show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter C. The lowercase letter C represents nine different creatures in Umoria, one of which is the Metallic Green Centipede. The Metallic Green Centipede is usually found at depths of 100 feet, and it moves erratically and quickly. It has an armor rating of 4 and a life rating of 4 die 4. It is fairly observant of intruders, which you may notice from 50 feet away. It can crawl on you to attack with damage 1 die 1. The Metallic Green Centipede Before we get started, let's check out the real source code. Okay, we all know Mori is made up of functions. Well, let's have a look at one. Which one? Let the wheel decide. Spin it. Hmm, I see one there called Confused or something. Another about Read Short or something. Oh, it's oh, so hard to read, flying by so fast. Three, two, one, and stop it. Mon cast spell. I think I know what that one is. That's monster cast spell. Ooh, this might be a spoiler right here. 235 lines long. We're not going to actually look at each of those lines. That's crazy. Two parameters and returns nothing. Hmm. Okay, creature.c. Mon cast spell. This ought to be very interesting. Okay, this one is by Robert Allen Kinnicky. Creatures can cast spells too. Dragon Breath. Mm. Dragon Breath is considered a uh, spell. How about that? Cast spell equals true if creature changes position because it might blink or uh, teleport self. Took turn equals true if creature casts a spell. Yeah, okay. That's took turn right there. Where's cast spell? I don't know. So uh, VI is all confused about the braces because of it defs. So don't sweat that. But anyway, it knows what the end of the function is, and it's way down here. Let's just do a, a brief one over first. Okay. If we're dead, then don't do anything. <laughs> Gotta stop the AI at some point, and when the player's dead, then yeah, that makes good sense. <laughs> so, uh, one in something chance of casting a spell, and the chance is related to the creature's ability. Um, gotta be within a certain range. That's the see dis, apparently. Must be able to see him. Line of sight. Can't be around the corner. Makes sense. Hey, or otherwise, here we go. We're going to uh, cast a spell. Uh, and there's update mon. I'm not sure what that's all about. Where's the actual casting done? How come we're updating them before? I don't know. How about that? The... Oh, man. Okay, this is just checking to see if the monster should be lit or not. That makes sense. But then, describe the attack. What is this died from business? I don't know. Moving on. Then we pick a... Uh, a spell. That makes sense. Got to pick a random spell. That's what this is all about. Yeah. And then, finally, we do some more stuff. 
I'm not, these look like very specific codes here. 6, and 17, and 14. They refer to specific spells. Yikes. And here we have the big list. Hey, we picked a spell, now we got to do something. So sometimes we have to maybe ask for a direction and whatnot. That would all be in these... No, no, we don't have to ask for direction. This is the monster casting the spell. That makes sense. Wow, the big list. That's why the function's so long. Look at all these things, all these different spells they can cast. Get all the way down to the end, and then we do some recalling. Oh yeah, this creature can cast that spell or this spell. This often as well. So that's a lot of different things. We'll leave it there. And we'll check for callers. Who is calling this? There it is. One caller in mon move. So this is the AI function that moves the monster one tile or one thing. One move for the monster. And sometimes it can cast a spell. And all, all, uh, it doesn't check. Well, I guess it does check to see if the if the monster can't cast spells, then cast a spell, maybe. Makes sense. And if we did it, or if we didn't do it, then let's do something else. Make a move. And that is Mon Cast Spell. Whew. It's quite the function. If you want to add a spell to, the, to a monster's ability, this is where you add it, right here. All right. With that... We will stop the Wheel of Source Code for now. Until next time. We are playing Umoria 5.6. Here it is. The GPL version. And here is our character, Yisha. Yisha is her name. She's an elf mage. How about that? All right, let's go. Where are we? We are level 20. And we are almost, well, we're 900 away <laughs> from level 21. We'll see what we can do. Um, we have two scrolls of recall. What I want to do is buy a couple more of those scrolls, if I can. And we're going to try to stay down in the mines a little bit longer. Uh, I've been coming up at the end of each 30-minute show. This is the, what, 22nd show? So, yeah, I want to stay down a little bit longer. Uh, save money and maybe find more stuff. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's go. Six rations of food, four flasks of oil. Maybe use one more flask of oil. If he sold any, she doesn't. Wow. All right. And we're back, 550 feet. We had an exceedingly easy time here at 550 feet. Let's see if it's easy this time. A potion, no thank you. And a cloak. We could use a magical cloak. Nope, just a cloak. It's no better than our current, just a cloak. No, it's not a cloaking device. Although some of the cloaks are really quite good. There are no cloaks of invisibility, no. Creeping gold coins. These are no fun. Got them. Okay. Is it presumptuous to ask whether we're going to go any deeper than 550 this time around? I don't know. Let's use one of our... Uh, oh no. Rest. Let's use one of our Identify Scrolls. We never remember to use them, so... Spear. Just a spear. Just a spear. Oh, 
All right, we are blind. It's a king cobra, and we are wielding a slay animal weapon. It's not very strong, but it should do pretty good damage against this king cobra. We hit it, we missed it, and he's moved. Let's wait for him to hit us again. Or not, we're free. Got him. So the blindness thing seems pretty bad, and it is. But if you were to combine that with another monster, uh, it can be deadly. And that's really what more is all about, is noticing when uh, the situation is uh, dangerous. So yeah, uh, you only get one life in these games, so you have to be very careful. Now, that being said, uh, we, we want the game to be fun as well. We want to end, we want to be able to take on the Balrog this century. That's right, sometime this century. What I did there is I didn't know where the invisible thing was, so I cast a sticking cloud into the wall. Nice trick. Perfectly good trick to use. What was that? As you can see, there are more and more invisible things to take care of. Pretty soon every room is going to have one. And us, Yisha, without an ability to see them. One of our goals, even for this session, is to find a sea invisible item. And all you can do there is just keep clearing the levels, looking for um, items. Items we can wear, though. Zombies never give up any items. Alright, moving on. There's an item. What is it? Well, it's not that great of an item. But if it's magical, it might be really good. Oh. So this is pushing us into the center. We'd rather not go there. Let's go this way. And it's our first Hobgoblin. Our very first one. I can remember these guys are also um, susceptible to fire. MCG. Wow, he's tough. Try and try our frost bolt. MBH. Try another frost bolt. We got him. What was he worth? He's a native, so he's not worth that much, just 20. A third staff of the tech invisible. Don't like those gnomes. Lousy gnomes. If you're wondering what desktop environment we're using here, we're running Gnome. Gnome Shell.
Yes, it's actually pronounced gnome. Although many people don't pronounce it. Drop the Staff of Summoning. And the distribution we're using is Fedora. Fedora 17. Code name? Anybody know the code name? No. <laughs> Beefy Miracle, which is an awesome name. We're playing Moria on the Beefy Miracle. Gray Mushroom. Think this Gray Mushroom's any good? Let's find out. Cure Poison. Yeah, it's useful, but not that useful. Maybe if we were some kind of a warrior or something. Broken sword, what did I cut that for? Alright. 31 mana. Open this room. Nothing. Need to find more stuff, not empty rooms. Empty rooms everywhere. Again, uh, when I attack an R a rodent. I know that it can, uh, what's the word, it can reproduce, so I always attack it with a stinking cloud. Giant white tick, we've seen these guys before. Pure blindness, no thanks. Well, maybe we should take that. Why not? Where to? We gotta get into that center. Looks like we get into the center by going over to the side. The side. The eastern side. Ugh. Alright. I was hoping that our resist cold ring would prevent this. Something shattered inside our pack. Can we identify what it was? It wasn't a book. It wasn't a scroll of word of recall. It wasn't our restore constitution potion. What was it? I don't know. Well, it couldn't have been that important. We got a ring of teleportation. It's all good. How do we get in there? Now we're in. Oi. That is rough. Oh, we still have more and we're poisoned. Look at our uh, hit points go down. There we go, we feel better. Waiting for nine mana. Ugh. MCG, barely get it off. Darn it. Read a scroll of phase door. Pop away. Rest. Open this door and go get him. Got him. Now where were we exactly? Heroism, no thanks. Okay. Oops. Let's 
What do you think? Think there's one more room here? Yep. It's got a ring. Aggravate monster. No thank you. All right, that pretty much covers this board, doesn't it? We go down or up? Let's go up, because we're close to one. Close to an upstair. Or we can go down. Let's go up. That decision could have saved our character's life right there. Okay, we're getting slimed. We, now we see him. Now we do a MAG, Sinking Cloud. Just hitting, like hitting the wall here with it. Resting, resting. Three rations of food. I'm gonna cast some uh, Magic missiles across the room. Got him. Doesn't really make up for the food we don't have, though. Who's this? A brigand. They carry stuff. They will scroll for us. Whenever you run into a trap and you're a mage, just call the MAF spell, the Find Hidden Traps. Because it means, hey, you forgot to do that. Hey, there's some food. Go north. What's up here? We have a wand of wonder. No thank you. Nothing at all in that room. Let's go south. Yeah. Lots of brigands hanging around. Brigand. Okay, okay, now what? It's over there. Any traps? No traps. A yeek. Thank goodness those yeeks aren't as strong as they used to be. Another ration food. How about that? Let's draw a stinking cloud wand that is empty. Pick up this scroll. This is going to be a good scroll, I just know it. Protection from evil. Good enough for me, that's a good one. Now the game distinguishes evil creatures from non-evil creatures. They're not all simply evil. Uh, animals, I think, are just animals. So sometimes you might get a slay evil um, sword item. And it doesn't kill everything. Just most things. If it's undead, it might be evil. It will be evil. Definitely. A Balrog is probably evil. It's got to be. The skeleton orc would be evil. See the looking human? Possibly. Hmm. What's that? 
soft leather ring mail. We have not seen that yet. What are we going to drop? Hmm. What do we care least about? Probably the confused monster one. Ooh. We're not done here. There you go. Rest. So what's this yellow mushroom all about? Light cures. No thanks. All right, I hope this is magical. Wow. Six comma plus three. That beats our six comma plus two. That's where. Watch your AC go up. Nineteen. You've had that hard leather armor for a long time. Broadsword. Is it magical? Oh, I hope so. Oh. Nope, not magical. There is a magical item, but it's a scroll. on the lights. Check for traps. Hmm, M-A-G. Straight ahead? Yeah. Several. I guess that got them. I'll get into this corner over here. Creeping copper coins. Maybe we'll have enough money to buy a sea invisible item. Hmm? We're doing pretty good. We're staying away from uh, things that drain our stats. Hmm. Kind of a funny area there. I say funny because it doesn't quite look right. Oh, speak of the devil. How are our boots doing? They're still giving us one AC. It's better than barefoot. Barely. Here's some items. Back sword and some shoes. Let's try the shoes first. Just shoes. And the back sword isn't all that good. Alright, moving on. Looking for more stuff. What are we going to find? A harpy and a large black snake. It's a cool room right there, isn't it? Where is he? Use. Staff of Detect Invisible. Ready? Try 
Try to rest. Alright, he's leaving us alone. Ah. Killed something. See invisible is gonna get very important if it's not already. Where else? I guess this way. Hit by a falling rock, that's not good. Oi. Hey, you didn't take any of our money. Keep going. And you know what? We can go down again. That's a finished level. How do you know? Well, you just kind of know. Maybe we missed a room. A small room. And uh, there it is. Uh, a ghost is uh, sapping our wisdom. So we zap away. Use the staff. There he is. Think he's still going to be there? He was there last turn. Did he move? Is he still on that row? We'll see. Yeah. Is he still there? Nope. It's way down there. Let's try to get him with Sneaking Cloud. We got him. And is that Naga going to stay asleep? Yes. Okay. Cure Critical Wounds. We have three of those. An Emerald Ring and a Steel Helm. Yes! Six. Look at our... Uh, Metal cap in comparison, only three. All right, is it going to be magical? Oh. But you know what? It's still better. It's still better than our uh, other helm. It still makes sense to put it on and remove the curse, and our AC will be higher. Let's do that. Where? Steel helm. Oops, it feels deathly cold. I'll say. Remove the curse. Look at our AC, it's 20. We can drop our metal cap. Now for the Emerald Ring. Oh, I hope this is a good one. A Ring of Sea Invisible. Do they exist? Here we, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Searching. Blah. That's a bad one. Moving on, next place. MAF is find hidden doors and such, traps, and stairs. The Yeti, capital Y. That's fishy. Looks like we have to go down into the center a little bit. And that's why I stay out of the center, because other things come from other rooms. Right now, they can come at us from three directions. Slime mold, let's eat it. Red Naga can sap our strength. Mushroom Minor Cures. That won't fix us, will it? Nope. I 
thought it might fix our strength or our wisdom situation. Sorry. What kind of potion? Salt water. No, thank you. Scroll. Scroll of light. Bah humbug. We can turn on our own lights, thank you. Running along here. Yeah, those disenchanter molds can really suck your mana. You don't want to have a room full of bad guys and one of those. Um, yeah, because I mean a mage without mana, pretty weak character. Rogue, no thank you. That sound means five minutes left. Instead of going up to the town, we're going to stay down. That's the plan. So far, so good. Only about 200 left until, uh, you know what, next level. Three flasks of oil left. Rest. Huh. He's so far away we couldn't see him. Metallic purple potion. This is going to be a good one. Oh, it is. It is a good one. Wow. Okay, see our strength of eight? Watch this. Wow. Strength, potion, bam. What bulging muscles you have. We have a strength of nine now. Awesome. And that is our first gain stat potion. That was way out of its depth. That was awesome. Okay, continuing on. That's awesome. Casting M.A.G. on these guys, if you didn't notice. Stinking Cloud. Why don't I use my Cold Ball? Well, it's very... It's got a lot of pails on it. Now what? Now where do we go? South. Green jelly. Yeah. Um, watch out poison stay here. Just gotta, there we go. Gotta be careful about that. I have died to poison many times, just not even noticing. How many times have I played? Oh, it's got to be hundreds. I've started hundreds of games. How about you? Are you just beginner, or are you an expert as well? Not that I'm an expert, but you know, I have won the game before. That counts for anything. It releases a cloud of spores. Let's go 
Go monsters. No monsters. Let's go monsters. Nope. Keep that Euchre's a level, yeah, pretty much. Let's go this way toward stairs. We went up to 500 feet. All right, I think that will stop there. Carrying anything we need to drop? No. How's our light? We can fill up our lamp. Can we eat? Yeah, I might as well eat. You are full. That's good. Okay. So here we are. Less than a hundred away from the next level. I doubt we can reach it. What do you think? Ooh, what was that? Oh. For a minute there, I thought he was a capital P. Capital P is something else. And that's it for this time. We will uh, level up to level 21 next time for certain. Alright. That's a lot of dungeon uh, hack and slashing right there. We will keep it up next time. See you later.